What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have a classic Jax WWE playset review for you guys. And it is on this gigantic Money in the Bank playset as you see right here with the scaffolding surrounding this big old ring. It came with three ladders. Um, the seller I bought it from also had some figures in there but um, they're not too great and they did not come with the playset so we do not think that these came with that. Um, it also came with a briefcase and some other accessories that we will get into in just a few seconds. But I picked this up because I wanted to see what you guys thought of the idea. If I were to use this for the Money in the Bank MDT pay-per-view, I want to. Um, I saw it on eBay and I was just like, you know what, maybe it'll work. So I picked it up. It was a pretty good deal for such an old and awesome playset. So I took it and here we are. It is all built up. I love the way it looks. I love the scaffolding. I love this little centerpiece that we'll get into in just a second with the briefcase on there. Um, I love everything about the thing so what I'm planning on doing is maybe detaching the uh, scaffolding on the sides and maybe attaching it to my everyday ring that I use for the pick fed but we will see if that will work please let me know in the comment section below if you would love to see this used for the money in the bank pay-per-view I would use it the whole time you know it would not only be for the ladder matches but also you know the championship matches but I love this playset so much, I want to show you guys around it. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, getting into the accessories that came with this thing. The first thing we have up is this Money in the Bank contract briefcase. And this is pretty nice. I don't like that it doesn't have anything on it. But, um, you know, I could probably put an MDT logo on there or something. I do like the case. Let's see if I can open it up right here. It has a lot of storage space, so that's really cool. You can put a ton of stuff in here. Um, what came in this, actually, was this contract right here. And this thing's weird because it looks like it's... Uh, two pieces but it's one piece and it is supposed to be the contract but it's molded like a folder so that's a little weird you know if it's flat like this it looks okay but if somebody were holding it it would look like one's falling out of his hand so that's a little weird and then it came with these little little money blocks and these are weird too not too much detail in there just a dollar sign sculpted on there and it has it's like a lego so it's like hollow so i guess it's supposed to be like it's laying flat um you can get the illusion right but it came with two of them the three and then the two so that is the smaller accessories. It also came with three ladders. Um, let's see if I can zoom out or something. Um, you see this ladder right here. Um, it had all of them have like these weird like things. You can press this button, and I think it's supposed to spring up. Let's see if I can get to do it on camera. Like you have this, and then you push it. Yeah, it really doesn't work that well, but. There's that one. Then there's this one with the little projectile on it. I think you're supposed to put a figure right here and then, like, I guess push it up and it launches them. So that's weird, too. I don't have any use for these ladders, so that's why I use my Mattel ones in the ring. Then it came with this last one, which is pretty much just a standard ladder. So that is the accessories. It also has this little clip that you put on the top. And I got to show you these figures because they're absolutely hilarious. But um, the first one we have right here is Gene Snitsky. And this did not come with the playset. This is just one that the seller... Um, threw in there and it is this hilarious figure of Gene Snitsky right here. Look at that face. My god He was a scary man, but he looks even scarier in this Jack's figure And then this one is so freaking this is like one of the funniest things I've ever seen It is a classic like Luke Gallows figure and look at this face Jesus Christ it looks just like vomit like he is literally puking his gut. He's like Bleh. This man looks awful especially with the red marks on there the beard and everything just terrible looking Luke Gallows figure, but um, the rest of the playset is pretty interesting. You have these little clips right here. If I can move all this jazz out of the way. You have these little clips right here that um, they clip to the bottom of the ring. So you set the ring corners in the bottom to these pieces. Then you connect these massive scaffolding pieces into uh, a little port right here. And it goes all the way up and it connects right here at the top and it goes in with more scaffolding to this part right here and this is my favorite part of the entire thing let me go ahead and show you guys so this part right here is really awesome it's like this little hub that hovers over the middle of the ring and as you see there's this little uh, hook right here let me see if i can go ahead and lower that um you like turn this knob and it lowers down and you can retract back up but as it lowers down you see there's this little hook right here and it's really awesome because you can just hook whatever title belts, money in the bank, or whatever. That is my favorite part of the entire thing. I just think that is so neat that they threw that in there. But um, I believe that is completely it for the entire playset. You know, I wanted to get your guys' opinion on if I should use this for the money in the bank pre uh, pay per view um, for MDT. 
Let me know what your guys' opinion is. Comment yes down below or nah, I don't think it'll work or whatever. Um, like I think I stated in the beginning, um, I think if I just connected these scaffold pieces to the uh, to the turnbuckles of the ring, I think it may work. Maybe I can tape it or whatever I have to do to make it work. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Be sure to answer the questions that I've asked in this video. If you do not mind, then I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.